Art to quite quiet her mind. Now she creates some really stunning pieces, jewelry, and small little uh, pottery too. Tell us more about her work. We're joined by Jen Howell. Hi, Jen. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? Good. All right. So you, your business is called Jen Marie Inc. Why the ink? Yes. What happened? I mean, tell me how you um, came across this type of art. So I actually I had repainted my dining room table and uh, or dining room, sorry, and I needed a statement piece over my dining room table. So I went to Pinterest to start looking for some pieces, mm -hmm. and I knew I wanted black, gold, and white. And so I found this piece. So I hit the price, and I said, "Oh, I bet you I can make that." So <laughs> um, as a, I start uh, playing around, stopped at Hobby Lobby, picked up some um, pieces um, to start working with. But I started out the ink and the materials for about a week, <laughs> just staring at it. Just staring and at it. Got into it and. Yeah, I'm, I was scared. I was just scared, you know, to get yeah. started. But as soon as the paper hit the, uh, or the ink hit the paper and started flowing, I just fell in love with it. Oh, it's um, beautiful. And this is what's, thank you, thank you. And then I get to use it on different um, textures. So I've got canvas, I have acrylic pieces. Um, I use Yubo paper, which is, which is a thin synthetic okay. um, paper. And so, and then I found out that I could paint pots and that's been uh, amazing. Amazing. People love the pots, um, and then I went into at Christmas time. I do ornaments. So, oh, um, I, I, now are you getting? Yeah, so are you making the pots as well? No, I find those oh, okay. um, and buy those, and then yeah, and then I paint them myself. Um, I thought about doing it, but I also work full time, so <laughs> it's kind of hard to find time to um, get back. I'd love to get back into ceramics. Um, I did that in college. Um, that would be amazing. It's really beautiful. And paint my own stuff. Thank so, you. so Jen Howell, why don't you tell us what you used to do? Um, so, um, when I left college, I became a photojournalist for almost 20 years. Yeah. Um, so I've always been creative. Um, I, when I was younger, I played music, then got into photography, and then went into photojournalism. Where did you work, for our local Jen? Newspaper. <laughs> the little I knew, Sentinel. And who did you work with? And then. Uh, I worked with Jen Bunnett. <laughs> She's awesome. <laughs> Jen um, at our desk. <laughs> Who knew? She have, our Jen happened to be looking at the side of my show. You're going to be doing a thing with my friend. Oh, Jen. Cool. Jen yeah. and Jen. Jen and Jen. There you go. Two yes. Jens. Well, well, she was excited and I was excited to meet you. Was awesome. It's beautiful. You do oh, such great work. Cool. So how do people buy this from you? Um, they can go to my website at um, Jen Marie Inc. Okay. Um, they can go locally. Um, 209 General Store has some of my pieces. Okay. Um, La Florette um, in downtown Lodi has a couple pieces, and so does um, Boxwood Finch. It's beautiful. So, but, um, they can always, thank you, they can always DM me on um, Instagram, and okay. um, I can set up a private viewing. And then I'm also at some of the local um, art shows. Oh, I love it. You know, I know that you've thank shared you. that it's uh, calmed your mind on stressful days. Yes, it has. All right. Thanks, <laughs> Jen. Has, especially in COVID, yeah. Nice Thank meeting you. you. I'll tell Jen you say hi. Me too. <laughs> Jen, Jen says hi. Hi, Jen. Jen. Jen hi, Marie, Jen. Inc. All right, Jen. there you go.